Welcome back. Businesses may be opening up around the U.S. and some people are going back to work, but there will be a long struggle for many to get back on their feet. Those long-awaited stimulus payments are now starting to arrive, at least for some people. Others wonder if and when they'll get theirs. And the latest $1.9 trillion stimulus package has a number of other benefits in it. So let's talk about that. Joining us to do that, help us with that. Uh, what's in this package, how it might help you is attorney Ugo Lord. Welcome very much. Thank, Thank you, so you so much, much for, for being with me. us. So let's get straight to it. What are the eligibility requirements in this $1.9 trillion package? The great news is that if you are making less than $80,000 as a single individual or $120,000 as head of household, or if you're married less than $160,000 a year, you qualify for this next round of stimulus funds. Okay, but I know that a lot of these checks already went out and there is a way to track and people want to track. Where's my check? So how can pe folks do that out there? The most important thing after you determine that you're eligible is to track it by going to the irs.gov website and searching the Get My Payment tool. There you'll be able to see if the check was already sent out, whether it's by direct deposit, a debit card, or a check in the mail, and if it was sent to the right account. The most important thing that you can do is to stay on top of your stimulus package to enable you to maximize your benefits. All right, is there anything you can do if you haven't gotten benefits for the past stimulus packages? You're nodding your head. That means yes, there is something. What can we do? Absolutely. The recovery rebate credit is available to all 8 million people who have not received their first or second stimulus package but are still eligible. In order to do so, you must file your 2020 taxes and request the recovery rebate credit. If for some reason the IRS responds by saying that they've already initiated a payment for all three stimulus checks, then you can do what's called a payment trace with the IRS. And that is how the IRS zeroes into you specifically, tracks your payment and expedites it directly to you. And I know a lot of people have had to deal with job loss over this last year. So does this package have extensions for unemployment as well? Here's the great news to those that are struggling to find employment. The unemployment assistance has been extended to September 6th. And here in California, that means up to September 4th, you will receive an additional $300 each week in unemployment benefits that are going on right now. The California EDD has been very synchronous and allowing us to have a, not a secession in payments. It's been very seamless and individuals are being able to be protected right away. Okay, and then here we are. It's uh, April. We are in tax month. The deadline for federal taxes has been extended to May 17th, but correct me if I'm wrong, that doesn't apply for, for state taxes, correct? That is correct. So the very good thing to know is just stay on top of it. If you need to file an extension, either you or your tax preparer can file that extension right away. The most important thing to know, especially for those that are struggling during the pandemic, is that with this latest stimulus package, there are additional benefits to filing your taxes now. That is, there is now a $10,200 credit that you will receive that is income that you'll be able to qualify tax free. That is, if you are unemployed, filed for unemployment, that first $10,200 is received tax free. So go ahead and file those taxes in order to maximize, or if you're not ready, file an extension. Okay, what about paying taxes on these stimulus payments? That is the really good news. Our government has done a great job in understanding that families are in fact hurting. So if you are receiving any type of stimulus benefit, you can receive that as an advanced upfront right now. You will still have to calculate your total income for 2020, and you'll still be taxed on your total income. But in terms of benefits received by the stimulus package, you do not have to worry about paying taxes on that 
right this instant. Focus instead on that relief and then sort out with your tax preparer how you'll be able to calculate that with your total income at the end of the year. You're an encyclopedia of knowledge. I love it. I'm going to keep the questions coming. I'm not done with you yet, Ugo. Now, one of the biggest happy to be here. <laughs> the, one of the biggest benefits uh, it has to do with the child tax credits. So, how does that work? This is huge, Marla. This is absolutely huge. Why? Because now, for the very first time, the, chi the child tax credit will allow you to receive an advance. If you have children that are 17 and younger, you're eligible for $3,000 a year for any child that is six and over or up to $3,600 a year for any child five and younger. And in between July and December, it will come to you in the form of an advanced payment, similar to a stimulus payment that you could receive either monthly or quarterly. The details are still being worked out, but what is clear is that a check is coming, finally. Let's talk about tax deductions because we heard uh, earlier in the week about being able to uh, write off PPE, personal protective equipment like masks, etc. What can you tell us about that? Not only is this great for business owners, it is also great for individuals, sole, surpri sole proprietors, and independent contractors. You can deduct any equipment or any type of masks that you purchase in order to protect yourself, to protect your employees, or even to protect your family. You can but deduct that from your annual taxes and allow that to be an extra cushion that you and your family can use to protect yourselves without breaking the bank at the same time. But there is a caveat, and that's seven and a half percent of your gross income, correct? But this also does include, if I'm not mistaken, all medical expenses. Yes, absolutely. And you can even work with your insurance providers to receive annual reports of all of your insurance expenses. You can tabulate that with your total annual income in order to calculate how much of it you'll be able to reduce. It is especially beneficial for those that are low to middle income because they will be able to deduct a great portion of it for their annual taxes. So always work with your local tax preparer and in this case, even your insurance company to get that tallied information in order to use that for your family's benefit. Ugo Lord, you make talking about tax deductions fun and everything else. So thank you so much for joining us on this Fox 11 News In Depth. Thank you so much for having me and stay safe. You too. He's great. All right, coming up on the Fox 11 News In Depth, the pandemic is even affecting the housing market with thousands of people now working from home. What's happened to real estate? We take a look right after this.